Well, yes, but Kenneth, don't cause problems by trying to control everything. All that matters is that Cindy is doing great on her master's program. Well, that's no surprise. She's always excelled at computers. And she deserves someone to share that with. And if that's what she wants, then I'm glad she's finally moved on. Well, Gary, all I ever want is for her to be happy. It's really all about dealing with the reality of the expectations of what your kids want and what the reality of what they actually want is, how they don't line up necessarily with what our parents think we should have. Great comedic moments in this. The bot having the lips, great touch. Um, the stakes are high in this and the dads are very upset, which adds to the comedy. And there's a realization that they also had a relationship that was not seen as common, which allows them to open up to their daughter's also uncommon relationship as well. I thought it was funny. I thought it was, um, you know, uh, 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 creative, uh, uh, unique, like as far as like the whole flip on the like, um, introducing your significant other to your parents, but then also your parents are gay. So then it's like flipping, it's a flip on even on a flip really of genre tropes or just like relationship tropes. So I like that. Um, uh, I thought it was funny. Um, and the whole like, using like um the dad's like life experience to to get him to like turn at least sort of turn um i thought that was well done the idea of a daughter coming home from college to present her parents with her robot boyfriend and she's behaving as if this is just like any other fellow the fathers gary and kenneth were so comical in their reactions and how they were going to come to terms with this now and not have everything blow apart. I thought the mobile robot boyfriend was so original and very realistic. And the eye projecting, I thought that was clever. I think the name is very clever for dealing with AI, a, a robot boyfriend. I think this is really comically written, and I think it does a really good job of projecting anxieties about AI and uh, robots and the concept of, you, you know, technology moving forward and technology integrating into humanity and uh, human relationships through this boyfriend robot character. I think this is uh, really, really clever. Um, the, the family dynamics that you establish in this to project these anxieties and uh, the, the the dialogue that you do that in um, is really funny. I think this is really well written. I think it was incredibly clever. So timely with this booming rise of AI this year. Um, I loved that they chose um, two fathers, a gay, a gay couple, to be on the receiving end of this um, very progressive um, view. I love that they are sort of framed as being the more conservative party in this scenario, even though, of course, before, um, you know, a man bringing home his boyfriend would be the progressive view. But now we have um, their daughter bringing home an AI boyfriend. Um, so I love that that choice. I thought it worked so well here. Um, I loved the AI itself. Uh, with the eyeball and just how creepy and weird it is. Um, so great effects with that. I thought the comedic timing and the acting in this was great as well. They all did such a great job of making this seem realistic and hilarious. A couple who is waiting on their daughter to come and introduce to um, a new person that she's cared for in a relationship. And you know, they kind of make this notion of, oh, this is Aaron 2.0. Um, there is a new person. She ha is widowed. And so they're meeting someone. It's a little bit weird because they have the same name. And when she goes to introduce Aaron to her parents, it ends up being artificial intelligence. She's created this device of all of the things that she liked about her partner and put it in this device and wants to spend forever with this device. And so it really dives into this grief 
this relationship that we have with AI and is she really moving forward and moving on with her life? You know, you find that, you know, her parents aren't so easily falling into the acceptance of this relationship. They don't really necessarily give you the tools to get you to root for this couple and for them to be together. Like they don't sell it fully. Um, but what I think they do sell that does make you think about it is this moment that this conversation that the parents have together of, you know, sometimes you have to talk people into being accepting of who you love when it comes to, uh, you know, the LGBTQ community. And why can't it be the same when it comes to this human loving this technology?